Hi, this is Chris Gamble with Chris Gamble Photography. Today I'd like to look at a text effect we can do using Photoshop where you see the image through the text. This is a picture I posted on my blog earlier this week and I'd like to run through how I made it. So let's take a look. To begin with, you need a picture. In this case I'm using one of Bryce Canyon in southern Utah taken just before sunset. Once you have the picture, click on the text tool and you need to pick a font. Photoshop offers a ton of different fonts, but when you're picking a font, you want something that's fairly bold and has thick lettering, because it makes it easier to see the picture. While some of the cursive fonts are very stylistic and pretty, they don't work well for this effect. The font I've chosen is Impact, a very bold font, and the actual text size and font color don't matter for this effect. So now that I've chosen my font, I'm going to go in here, with a text tool, click and type whatever word I want. I'm going to use Bryce and I'm going to type in all caps just to emphasize the size of the letters. Once I've done that, I need to apply a free transform. Before I can do that though, I need to get out of the text control. So I'm going to go to my layers panel, click on the background, and then click back on the text layer. Free transform is accessed by going to edit, free transform, and the free transform box appears around my word. Now I'm going to drag it up to the corner, hold down shift, and drag one of the corners of the boxes. And you can see I resize the text. Resize it however much you want, and you can roughly place it where you need it. Once you're happy with the placement, hit return. That gets rid of the free transform box. Next, we have to go to the layers panel and switch the order of the layers. Right now the text layer is on top of the background. I need to reverse that. The problem is my background is locked. To unlock it, simply go to the background layer and double click and a window will pop open. You need to rename the layer. Layer 0 will work fine or you can type in something that has a little more meaning. I'm just typing Bryce Canyon, say OK, and you'll note the name has changed and the lock has disappeared. I can now drag the text layer below the image and the text disappears because it's behind the image. Now to see the, the image through the text, what I need to do is create a clipping mask. This is really simple to do. Just hold down the Option key and then put your cursor between the two layers in the Layers panel and click the button. And there we go. We've got the effect basically complete. We can see Bryce Canyon through the word Bryce, but that transparent checkerboard pattern just doesn't show it to the best advantage. So what I want to do <laughs> is I want to create a dark background. I'm going to create a new blank layer in the Layers panel and drag it to the very bottom underneath the text. I'm then going to go over to my paint bucket, make sure I'm on black or whatever color you choose, and click. Now the words stand out much more dramatically. I like how it looks, but I do have a little more modification I can do if I choose. Switching to the Move tool, I can click on the text layer and I can actually reposition this wherever I want. Let's say I want to move it down a little bit, center it a bit more, but I really like that horizon in my image. Well, no problem. I can click on the Bryce Canyon image and move the image itself down. Once I like the positioning, I'm done. It's a very simple yet dramatic way to show text and I hope you enjoy it. 